beats science. Hey, you gotta see this. I was experimenting with magnetic arrays, and so I came up with this crazy thing. I call it the flux ramp. I've got 12 neodymium magnets crammed together, all north up on one side and north down on the other side. There's a wooden track that runs down the middle. These powerful magnets really don't want to be sitting so close to each other, but I use epoxy and these wood strips to keep them in place. Check out the interesting behavior of a steel bearing in the magnetic array. You can see with the slightest tap, the steel ball gets sucked in and rolls right along down the array. But getting out of the array is a different story. It seems like there's a magnetic hump or barrier at the borders of the array, keeping the ball from wanting to go outside. It's a really interesting effect to get with this sort of linear magnetic array. This is how I envision it. With two rows of magnets, you can see how the fields are diminished in the middle and exaggerated at the ends. You can, of course, get through this magnetic hump if you push hard enough. I just can't explain why it would attract in one direction and repel in the other direction. This gave me another idea. Now by putting a little incline in it, I can use gravity to help. You see how it gets sucked into the array at the top, but then bounces off the magnetic hump at the bottom. It's not touching the spring at all. You'll see what that's for in a second. Meanwhile, get a load of this. I thought if I could vary the distance of the magnets to the track, we could really work this magnetic field, watch. Naturally, it's attracted to where the fields are stronger, where the magnets are closer to the track, even if it's uphill. The spring parks the ball in just the right spot so that when I close the magnet bars, those concentrated fields give the ball a nice pop up the ramp. You've got to spread the bars out again, though, or else the ball will get trapped by that upper magnetic hump. If you close them quick, you get that extra bump from the top down as well. I'm pretty sure this is an arcade game on some alien planet. It's fun messing around with the magnetic fields and controlling the ball. I think I'm getting pretty good at it. I can even turn the support and make it a steeper angle to make it harder. Got to do some more research to see exactly what's going on with the physics here. But in the meantime, this is where art meets science. Like and subscribe.